Welcome to adding and subtracting fractions with common denominators. This is a physically active lesson, so make sure that you have a little room to move. In today's activity, we will be adding and subtracting fractions that have common or the same denominators. As a reminder, when we add fractions that have the same denominator or bottom number, the denominators stay the same, but the numerators, the top numbers, combine together. Here's an example. One fifth plus two fifths equals three fifths. You'll notice that the denominator stayed the same. It stayed as five. However, the top number became a three because one plus two equals three. In today's lesson, the fractions will look more like this. The three is the numerator and the five is the denominator. Let's practice together. Here's one fourth. If we add another fourth, what do we come up with? One fourth plus one fourth equals two fourths. You'll notice that the denominator four stayed the same, but the numerators one and one combine together to give us two. Try it on your own. What is the sum of these fractions? One fourth plus two fourths. The answer is three fourths. The denominator stayed the same, four, and the two and the one combined together to give us three. Let's look at these fractions. What is the sum of these fractions? Two eighths plus four eighths. The sum is six eighths. The eight is the denominator and stayed the same. The four and the two combined together to give us six. Let's take a look at this one. What is the sum of these fractions? Two six plus two six. If you came up with four six, that's the correct answer. The denominator six stayed the same. Two plus two gave you four for your numerator. Okay, let's get some physical activity in. It's time for an exercise break. Choose one of the following exercises, pretend jump ropes, jogging in place, or jumping jacks, and do it for 20 seconds while the timer counts down. Great job. Now have a seat and add up these fractions. One third and one third. If you came up with two thirds, you were correct. Here's another set. Four sixths plus one sixth. What's the sum of these fractions? The answer is five sixths. What is the sum of these fractions? 3 ninths plus 5 ninths. The answer is 8 ninths. It's time for another exercise break. Here are your choices. Push-ups, windmills, or cross-crawls. You choose and start when the timer starts. Okay, go ahead and have a seat and let's get started on our next one. What is the sum of these fractions? 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. The answer is 3 fourths. Even though there are three different fractions, the numerators still add up together and the denominator still stays the same. What is the sum of these fractions? 1 fifth plus 1 fifth plus 2 fifths. All together, that equals four fifths. Now, can you figure out the sums of the fractions without the picture? 
Let's try. What do you think 2 6 plus 3 6 is? The answer is 5 6. How about 1 4 plus 2 4? That equals 3 4. What about 4 8 plus 3 8? That equals 7 8. Let's take another exercise break. Here are your choices, mountain climbers, arm circles, or squats. Get ready for your 20 second timer. Nice job working out. What happens when we subtract fractions with common denominators? It's very similar to adding. The denominator stays the same, but the numerators subtract from one another. So look at this. I have 3 fourths minus 2 fourths equals 1 fourth. You'll notice the denominator stayed the same and the numerators were just subtracted to give us 1 fourth. Let's give it a try. If I start with 8 ninths and I take away 5 ninths, what do I have left? The answer is 3 ninths. The denominator stayed the same. I took 5 away from 8 and came up with 3 for my numerator. Here's another one. What's the difference between these two fractions? 2 thirds minus 1 third. The answer is one third. What is the difference in these two fractions? Four fifths minus two fifths. The answer is two fifths. Now, can you figure out the difference of the fractions without the pictures? Let's see. If I have seven ninths and I take away five ninths, what do I have left? Two ninths. What is five tenths take away two tenths? That's three tenths. What is four eighths take away one eighth? That gives you three eighths. Thanks for practicing adding and subtracting with common denominators. Now, to finish, choose one of the following exercises and do it for 20 seconds or 20 times in a row. Heel raises, scissor kicks, or a plank hold. Or choose an exercise that's your favorite. Have a great day.